This event really doesn't even start until the 1,325 pound super yoke. Most guys have been breezing right through here. Chalet's got the lead. Ferris struggling. Chalet out of the final apparatus. Looking good, and this is where his experience can really come to help him out. Oh, oh and he goes down. Remember, he went down in a heap at the end of the first event, and now down during event two, and immediate medical attention for Lawrence Chalet. Ferris trying to get that third apparatus just off the line. Still fighting it, he's able to cross. But the bigger story here is the health of Chalet. Man, that didn't look good. It looked sudden. The medics rushed in. His wife, Liz, was right there. What a competitor. Crowd giving him a hand, including Ferris, who now sets the time to beat. He'll be the leader in 39.89. Hey, not a bad run for the Rook. He muscled his way through that 1,325 pound super yoke. It's not just about leg strength, it's also about stability, and Ferris had what it took. JF Carone. Here's Canadian JF Carone. And he matches up with Poland's Mateusz Kieliuszkowski. Kieliuszkowski proclaims to be one of the fastest in the world at this event. Really likes the super yoke and the ability to be able to move. This is going to be a good head-to-head -head competition. Kieliuszkowski bested Corona in the first event. They are neck and neck on to the second apparatus. Kieliuszkowski making that transition to the second apparatus a little bit more quickly than Corona. 1,325 pounds. Super yoke. He made it look easy. He didn't drop it, Brent. He may be the first competitor we've seen that did not drop the 1,300-plus pound super yoke. We know how strong Corone is, and he's struggling, giving all he can to just get that thing across the line. And Corone gets it across, barely edging out. Kevin Ferris for second place at a time of 39.69. But the winner here in the Giants medley in group number four is Poland's Mateusz Kieliuszkowski in a blistering time, crazy time of 18.89. He said he was one of the fastest in the world in the super yoke, and he just may be right. Look at that. A great look at just how important the stabilizing muscles like the hip flexors are when you're carrying that weight. So Kieliuszkowski with his second event win in 18.89. Caron finishes second again in 39.69. Ferris takes third.